how to look, exactly how to bring a picture to life. Eve Arnold spent 10 years photographing Marilyn through the eyes of a camera. She watched the fresh new face become one of Hollywood's most familiar. Her latest book, Marilyn Monroe and Appreciation, pays tribute to the superstar that we saw on the screen and the woman that she knew as a friend. Your book is magnificent, Eve Arnold, but I'm interested in knowing how you met Marilyn and what your initial impressions of her were. She had asked to meet me because she'd seen some pictures that I had done of Marlena Dietrich for Esquire magazine. And when we met, she said, if you did this well with Marlena, can you imagine what you can do with me? I found that very funny, and I talked to my editors at Esquire. And that began a 10-year stretch during which I photographed her. Actually, it was six sessions. The shortest was two hours, and the longest was two months during which we worked on The Misfits, the film that Arthur Miller, her then-husband, wrote for her. And your impressions of her as you met her after all that initial statement was not exactly humble. Well, I, it intrigued me. It was naive and at once very sweet and touching. It didn't bother me at all. I thought, if anybody has an ego this good, then I really want to explore it. And what did you find in her? Was she the vulnerable, uh, frightened little girl? Was she the ambitious woman knowing exactly what she wanted and how to get it? She was very sure of what she wanted. Uh, she built on the vulnerability, but it was not the salient thing about her. The interesting thing about her was that she was so steady on her focus on what was right for her that one could not do anything except admire that kind of straight, head-on bullseye. That's the target out there, and I'm going to hit it, and I'm going to be a great movie star. Actually, that was destructive in the end, I think, because as long as it was the fantasy, as long as she could believe that she was going to be the movie star, she could deal with it. When it became the reality, it was almost too much to, to bear what is, her. What does that mean? That it was too much for her to bear, the reality. Well, the reality, suddenly the whole world was looking at her. She had so much to contend with. Uh, she, the, all the energy came from her. It, you know, all those gags and jokes and everything that happened, that came from her. All the power that was needed to run that engine that was Marilyn came from Marilyn. It wasn't anybody else's idea. And it was hard. You, as a female photographer, might have seen something a little differently from the way men uh, saw her. I wonder if that's true, because she was so flirty most of the time, at least the impressions that I read about her with men. She was so, I missed that word. Flirty. She was constantly coming oh, on. She, she seduced everybody. She seduced the camera, male, female, but it was the camera which was the focus. It was the still camera which really made her, because these were the days... Uh, pre-television when the picture magazines were in their heyday and Marilyn used both the camera and the photographer to keep her public image going and that was very important to her. Eve, it suggested that she had some unusual qualities. Number one, that she had some soft down under her chin that reflected in a way that uh, was helpful to her. Number two, that she photographed 10 pounds lighter than she actually was, and number three, that she knew ways of highlighting her eyes that almost no one else knew. Are, is, is truth to this, or is this part of the myth? Yes. No, no, it's not a, it's not a myth. I wrote about it in uh, an appreciation. Um, she knew exactly what to do. She'd studied herself from early childhood when she used to be left at the movies when her foster parents would drop her off on Saturdays to get her out of the way. She would then come back and look in the mirror and dream that she was a great star. And when she was old enough, she started applying makeup. She was a very quick study. She could learn very, very rapidly whatever it was she wanted to know. So that, yes, it's true that she was able to do things with her lips and, their, and her eyes that she kept secret from her makeup man, even. She did photograph lighter. Most people photograph 10 pounds heavier. She did it lighter. And also there was this 
very faint down around the periphery of the face and it caught the light and there was kind of a halo it, it was softened the face and it sort of increased the look of blondness that was Harris. Did you have any idea when you were filming the Misfits and doing those those last those last photos of her that this was a woman in desperate trouble who might take her life? No, no. I I knew that she had twice while we were working on the film taken an overdose of sleeping tablets, but my understanding at that time was the inability to sleep that was the enemy she could not sleep and so she would take a couple of pills to put her out and then she you know she would waken almost immediately she would forget that she'd taken the pills and then she would go on to more pills but there was look at some of the pictures in that book and they to me they don't look like somebody who's about to kill herself i don't think if it, it was an accident it was misadventure if you will but I don't think that it was a planned suicide Eve Arnold as a woman who became a Marilyn Monroe's friend could she have really lived to 61 could she have aged when she was in the limelight of that youth and beauty cult of her time yes I think she certainly could have because she had the intelligence to do it um, there was one last interview with Life magazine in which she talked about fame and she said, well, fame, I've had you and you've gone by and then proceeds to talk about herself. Yes, I think, you know, we all have to live. Some have survival instincts that are stronger than others. Uh, I don't think hers were very strong. I think that she was tired. Uh, disillusioned in many ways, felt betrayed very often, so that it may have been difficult, but I don't see why she couldn't have made it. I want to thank you for being with us today. The, the book is a glorious uh, um, memory for many of us of an absolutely wonderful looking woman. Thanks again.